Hello, uh, this is Professor Carol Sikora here. I'm an oncologist, and obviously, like everybody, every doctor, I'm interested in COVID. And what I'd like to do on this vlog over the next few weeks is talk about some aspects of COVID right across the board. As I say, I'm an oncologist, and therefore I'm particularly interested in how it interacts with cancer and the problems we have in treating and diagnosing cancer currently. So today, to start with, let's look at this. Released on Monday, our plan to rebuild. The government's plan for a strategy. And if you haven't got time to read it, just go to page 21, and there's a lovely coloured diagram. And it talks about three steps. Getting out and about more starts this week. Getting people back to work if they can't work from home. Moving along to getting primary schools going. And then finally, what we've all been waiting for, get the bars open, get the pubs open, get the restaurants open. The only problem with the report, it's a little bit vague on any detail. It doesn't have any dates in it. This contrasts with nearly every other European country that's got out of lockdown. By all means, we've got to monitor what's going on, the magic R0 number, which I haven't heard for 50 years. We've also got to look at the number of cases and move forward on that basis, going faster or slower. The world out there, trains are deserted, everyone is too frightened. I don't know how it's going to pick up. The advice from the conferences that you hear is a little conflicting and you can interpret it in many different ways. When I saw Boris flanked by his undertaker lookalikes on either side, the CMO and the chief scientific officer, I thought this was not the nine o'clock news, a satirical program. Then I realized, my goodness, it's for real. I just hope this pandemic will burn out before there's any need for a vaccine, any need for quarantining people at Heathrow or other measures that will really ruin the country totally. Thank you for listening.